Hi, I'm here with my boy Mikey, and uh, I'm going to be doing a deck profile of his uh, Dark Warrior Orchest. Uh, here we go. So, um, so Dark Warrior Orchest, it's pretty much the same package uh, for any Dark Warrior deck. So you have your three Neo Spectre and Connector. Um, this pretty much extends your players into Soul Day uh, with Aqua Dolphin. Um, allows you to get information that's pretty much free uh, now compared to what it used to be. Um, because this is the only card, I believe, in a starter kit that allows you to look at your opponent's hand. So it allows you to play around stuff like Ash and Hero, depending on exactly like what exactly you need to play around. Um, so this package is just great because it allows you to extend it and allows you to gain all the information. Um, part of any Dark Warrior package is Destiny Hero Malicious. Um, so this is Dark Warrior Orcus, so this helps extend with a lot of plays, uh, considering that you can pitch this with Greffer and you have a Harp in the graveyard already. This just explains, uh, extends into like everything and lets you do a full loop. Uh, pretty much you can end on like Appaloosa, like Din, and plus Galatea, so you have your negate for your crescendo. Um, so I am playing the Phantom Knight engine. So the reason I'm playing Phantom Knights is because literally they just synergize so well with everything. Um, the darks, they're level threes, which is a little bit wonky, but when you're playing Break Sword, it allows you to have that level of rogue um, niche with uh, Utopia Double, so it allows you to extend to that. Plus, like, Fog Blade is just an amazing card, and playing Iron Shade, um, Iron, Iron Shade allows you to extend even better, it's just, and these just get you to all those parts. Do you ever, do you ever brick with them? Uh... I actually don't see them very often. The deck okay. is 40, and you would expect to brick uh, with just boots. Um, but even if you open up two boots, you can literally summon a boot, special summon boots, and then go to break sword. Um, this is like more of a brick, but you usually pitch this or you search this off of uh, Assault Day if you already have Armor and Knight or Greffer, and this is just your like your free pitch. Alright. Uh, and then in Grave, you know, it just allows you to extend. Um, so Junk Forward, uh, literally one of the best cards because it's just free. Um, you have to play in any like Dark Warrior deck or any Warrior deck in general, it just helps extend. Uh, the biggest brick in the deck right here. Um, so I was playing it too, um, but I realized I missed it too much. Um, there's a lot of times where you come up with Connector and Aqua Dolphin, and then if you have this, uh, it allows you to do Aqua Dolphin twice, so you can go this plus Aqua Dolphin into the Sold, and then activate Connector's effect, especially summon Aqua Dolphin back, and then you can do a soul for 16 with Aqua Dolphin. So maybe you could pitch something you didn't pitch originally from their hand. All right. um, this is the only benefit with that card. Um, other than that, I think this card's really bad. It doesn't really help with any extensions. It makes you normal summon junk forward, because it's only when a warrior monster is normal summon. Would you ever consider cutting it to two? Uh, I did, but I, just that one play with Aqua Dolphin just makes it just so much stronger. All right. um, so the small Orcus package, um, so triple heart, uh, double nightmare, uh, one symbol and one wand. Um, so this is pretty much standard for Orcus. Uh, the only thing I'm really missing is I feel like sometimes I need a second skeleton, but a lot of the time it's just um, it's just in the grind game. And usually if I don't explode and get like the whole board I want for the full control of the game. Um, it, it's just not necessary because you exhaust pretty much half your deck in your whole combo and if you need a second one of these after that it just kind of sucks um, you're probably already losing if you need a second one um, but yeah um, so the actual only left two dark warriors left <laughs> uh, it sucks I wish we had three Greffer or three of one others but you can't really do anything with it. But these are really the extension of the whole deck. Uh, this is your whole combo with a soul day, is to get to the east so you can play. Uh, one Gizmek, just because sometimes you need to send something else with uh, Nightmare, because you have Wand already or you don't need a heart, so you still need, you still play this. Um, Babel, because it's the most broken card in the Orcus. Literally, there's no reason not to play this card. And this literally helps you win every single game. There's no reason not to play it. Yeah. Um, double or nothing, because we are playing Rogue, so yeah. kind of roguish. How, so, many, how many times have you opened that up? Never. I've never okay. opened this card. Uh, out of, like 80 duels I've tested, I've never opened it. Okay. Um, so for the Quick Spells, I'm playing Limit Fossil, Gallatin, um, this thing, that, and this. Um, so. The reason I play this is because, once again, there's that little combo you have with Connector, where you can actually equip this, and then you can hit like a Nibiru off of Soul Day or something, uh, or you can use Nightmare, and then you can literally just extend further. Um, 
it's just really good. You don't expect it to be that good, but it's strange that like one 1,000 boost card can change the whole dynamic of a one ditch card. Yeah. Um, out of all the ones, um, pretty much the only ones I don't want to ever see are these two because they have no benefit to me. Um, they're really bricky. Um, Living Pulse, although it's like a special summon, it doesn't create or generate any advantage because it loses the effects and it loses all its attack, so you can't really go to K with it. Yeah. Um, so this this is like the worst one in my opinion. Uh, this can like you know generate a little bit of a boost for a monster and pretty much help with OTK, but uh, Living Fossil is like the worst one in my opinion. Uh, Road up because we're playing Warriors, and then um, Double Fog Blade, uh, just because this card is insane. There's no reason not to play it. Yeah. Um, Iron Shade because this helps with the soul plays, and then you we do play Redoer and then self up with Utopia plays at the end of the combo. It's just really weird how much interaction this still has within the game after Rusty left. Yeah. But you know this just helps so much, uh, and it's really weird. And then Crescendo because we play Orcus. Um, All right, so extra. Extra. So with extra deck, it's a little weird. Um, so I do play Appaloosa. Uh, the reason for Appaloosa is to prevent from Nibiru negations, and then you can also Nightmare, uh, Pitch Wand, or Gizmek to target this, and you get another free negate. So it's just, although, like, you know, you start with only four or three, uh, you can get one more off of all that. Um, Boral Sword, because we want OTKs. Um, we play Unicorn, because we need a generic rank three, or link three. Um, Mongrisu, because we're playing Orcus, and then Galatea. Um, there's times I wish I had the third Galatea, but once again, if I'm grinding out as much as I am and I need a third Galatea or I need a second symbol, I'm probably already in a losing position and it's not going to help me generate any more advantage. Um, so that's why this, this just these three are fine. Um, Assault Day, the best card in the deck. Yeah. Um, literally being able to search any mon any warrior monster and then being able to summon Greffer and Armageddon Knight from your deck is like literally nuts. Uh, IP, uh, this is the best link in the game. Um, <laughs> But uh, honestly, this just generates so much advantage um, within Orcus. Uh, it doesn't really generate so much advantage in this deck, but you know, going into Unicorn in your opponent's turn with Malicious or with something else that you've left on the board is pretty okay. Um, so that's all for links. I know it's not like super link heavy, you would expect from Orcus deck or Orcus variant deck. Um, but we did play a lot of Exceeds. Um, so we play Breaksword, like I said. Uh, with the Phantom Knights, you can go into this, and this generates you advantage to get rid of something, and it also lets you generate advantage into going into a rank 4 play. Um, that being, you can play literally the best rank 4 in the game right now, Nightmare, which pretty much locks into your opponent, um, because you just set all their monsters, and, you know, because this card isn't once per turn. It's nuts. And they summon multiple monsters, like a Pendulum something, you set all of it. Um, they summon two monsters in sequence, and, you know, you can set those. It's just nuts. Um, and then we do play the Utopia double package. Um, it's just good. Like, if you're playing any type of rogue deck where you have the space to fit this in your engine, you might as well play it. Yeah. Um, I do so play Redoer. It's kind of just a win button, the Utopia package sometimes. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> like, you know, it, it's just it's just like this. Like, you know, you have Boral Sword, you have this. You know, there's no reason you, you shouldn't be winning. Yeah. <laughs> so I do play Redoer. Uh, I feel like this card's only good because uh, Striker's in the meta, and it allows you to draw and get that advantage. Yeah. Um, there's times where I've ripped off uh, crescendos off my opponent's deck, I've taken engages off, I've taken afterburners off, and it saved me. Um, you know, that's just lucky, but like in general, like being able to rip off a spell from the top of the deck and then being able to draw is amazing. And then just being able to like clutch out of there with a monster uh, is pretty good. And you can also make this with um, Iron Shade, so you know, you can go like any other monster this, and then it gets trap effect, so it's not awful. Uh, there's a lot of times you can generate it, and then of course, it degrees you. Yeah. Um, because you're playing Orcus. Um, overall, the deck is pretty functional. Um, it loses hand traps, and I don't play Call of the Graves. The reason we don't play Call of the Grave is you don't want any part of your whole combo to go down. Um, you always want to be able to keep generating your advantage, and if you're playing cards like Call of the Grave or you're playing like hand traps, you're not getting anywhere with that because you're putting, you're taking out cards that are necessary for your combo to stop your opponent. Yeah. Um, the deck's really good. Um, I know most Dark Warrior Orcus decks, they start playing dangers in it and increase the count to 50. I feel like that doesn't generate enough advantage for any means. Um, 
there's a lot of times where you know you just end up with like this type of board and you just, you're just happy with it. Um, uh, and you just can be happy with like a board like this. Yeah. Um, there's no reason that you have to extend further. This board's pretty strong in general. Uh, sometimes you can with some fog blades or something. But just ending on Ding Grease through Nightmare of Appaloosa, you know, a lot, a lot of people could generate enough advantage to get past it. Orcus is one of those decks that, you know, you literally, you just generate advantage. Um, and if you get hand trapped, you lose, you lose a lot of it. So with Dark Warrior, you don't commit to the graveyard as much. So you're really just playing from your deck. Um, so your hand doesn't matter. Okay. Well, thanks, man. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you guys later.